We will now take a look at the flow of air in vent or ventilation mode during operation of the air conditioner. In ventilation mode, the cooling and the heater circuits are switched off. The return air enters through the return air grill located in the ceiling of the passenger saloon. The return air damper wings are in open position. so that the air can enter freely into the return air opening of the air conditioner. The fresh ambient air is drawn through the fresh air dampers located on both sides of the HVAC unit. The fresh air quantity varies with the passenger load. The HVAC controller receives a passenger load signal via the TCMS and operates the fresh air dampers accordingly. The fresh and the return air flows meet in the mixed air compartment. The supply fan draws the mixed air through the mixed air filters, cooling coil and the heater bank. Remember, neither the cooling coil nor the heaters are energized in the ventilation mode and will not affect the temperature of the air. This mix of the fresh and return air is discharged from the supply air opening into the supply air duct installed above the ceiling of the passenger saloon. The mixed air enters the saloon through the diffusers located on the ceiling. The duct arrangement ensures that each air conditioner serves the full length of the saloon. In this way, the conditioned and the fresh air is supplied to all the passengers even if one of the two HVAC units is out of order. This mixed air is also discharged into the driver's cabin through the cab booster fan. Additionally, the cool air is also discharged into the duct going into the driver's console and the CLEC cabinet. The mixed air is also supplied in the saloon cabinet SEC2L in DT car and both SEC2L and SEC2R in M car.